All right, another mirror. Well, not another mirror match. We're up against another another comfy deck. Gameplay is expecting a bottom view of yourself. <laughs> Has been great, but having to loss own rod early was the beginning of the end. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You got you kind of got to play a recycler. Recycler's too important in that deck. Recycler's too important in Mirage Gate decks in general. I feel like, except for maybe some kind of Sky Seal Stone build. Yeah, Mar uh, recycler's just is broken in those decks. Kyogre Ray. Um, it might not be necessary in Sky Seal Stone Mirage Gate builds because your price trade's a little bit more aggressive. But I'm actually kind of excited to try like some kind of Vika Vault Sky Seal Stone deck. I was like theorying some stuff earlier. Um, I got some ideas that I kind of want to try out with a Vika Vault Sky Seal Stone build. Could be pretty good. Um. I think you could maybe even beat Arceus to Raladon. I was like theorying the Arceus to Raladon matchup, and I think it might be winnable. It'd be tough, but it might be winnable. You rob plus recycle, it just feels so bad when you lost on a prize one rod and then only have one recovery option. I mean, uh, I mean, you're not wrong when you say that. Like, it can feel, but like, it, maybe you could have played better. Like, the, the number one thing that I think happens in those kind of situations, the number one thing, one of the biggest things that happens in Pokemon in general, uh, is you probably could have just played better in most scenarios. Most players could have just played better. So that's the first thing you want to think about is like, okay, I probably misplayed in some situation, or maybe I did misplay. What was my misplay? But that happens so much more in Lost Box than any other deck I think ever in the Pokemon TCG, because you have to make so many more permanent decisions based around your resources than like any other deck in the history of Pokemon. Like Lost Zone decks have to make more decisions based around permanently losing resources than any other deck in the history of the Pokemon TCG probably. Um, so that's why um, everyone's inability to res manage resources is amplified when anyone ever, whenever anyone picks up the deck. Um, so you should always, and I was, that's how I always like to think about the game. I don't like playing, I don't like telling people, I don't like playing and I don't like telling people to play um, cards that cover up bad habit, bad habits or bad behaviors. What I always tell people or do myself is just play better. Just work on trying to play better instead of. Uh, being like, well, I feel like I always run out of Pokemon here. I'm going to put a fourth ordinary rod in my deck, stuff like that. Like, instead, you should, like, go out of your way to be like, okay, how can I how can I just be better at the game? Um, as opposed to what's it called. And, but at some point, maybe the third ordinary rod is correct. That's not to say you should never uh, play any kind of recovery cards. Um, but you want to play the correct amount. You don't want to play. You don't want to use it like a Band-Aid for your poor mistakes. All right, let's take a look here. A double capture in hand, so we can probably give up a cap. And I do want... I don't want them to push Greninja, so I think I want to go for the switch card here. The basic energy I could also give up and actually keep the escape rope. Which actually I'm kind of tempted to do, to be honest. So what is the game plan in this matchup? I kind of want to set up Chipple Gudra, but that seems unrealistic. Um, it seems unrealistic to set up Triple Gudra. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not like that unrealistic, but they're playing the Battle VIP Pass. Build and hit triple battle baby best. They also burned three scoop up nets on turn one, so they're not going to have a great way to get all these one prize Pokemon out of play. So I'm definitely going to be able to pick on two one prize Pokemon at some point. But if I take the rope, they just push Greninja, or they should push Greninja. They might not push Greninja. Um, and if they don't need the capture, the question would just be do I want the escape rope? <laughs> That's just the question. Uh, I'll go like this. Oh, I have double switch card in my hand, though. I should be fine. I want to get the turn one KO with Cram as well. Because it's possible I could KO four one prize Pokemon in this matchup, to be honest. And then just one Gudra. It is possible. Okay. The Roxanne's seem really good in this matchup, to be honest, as well. They can give up one medal to preserve a Roxanne. Now the question goes, uh, what do I get next? It would have to be another Comfy, right? I could attach active retreat to Comfy, I guess. Yeah, it's gotta be a Comfy here. I don't think I'm gonna get the cram attack off, actually. Uh, it's still possible, I guess. Switch. Comfy. Alright, we got there. And I don't think Goon is that relevant. I do wanna or Temple of Sinnoh might also not be that relevant. I could give up the last Temple of Sinnoh here instead and keep the Goon. But I could, like, rod the Goon back in 
at some point as well. I could also grab Greninja here. Greninja draws me one card and I lose an energy. Uh, but I get one prize card, so that's like plus one card anyways. Um, I might want to stop their captures at some point, though. Like, after I use this next capture on my, on my turn, I might want to shut down their captures. Like that. Did I play a Color Sisk turn? I did, right? Okay, sure. I'll go with the guy. I could go with Greninja here, though. Greninja's not terrible either. I feel Cram's like a little bit better, though. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I can get Greninja next turn. It's not like we have like endless energy to kind of throw around as well for Greninja every single turn. So at some point we kind of lose, we lose that out on that. <clears throat> Temple's the, probably the worst. Well, they might want to use capture still at some point to like set up a third Gudra or to get something out of the deck. So I'm just going to like, I still want so I think I still want to be able to next turn stop there. Stop there, sh stop there, pull through the, pull through it. Um, yeah. So I think I'll actually Greninja away the metal here. Yeah, the goal for both of us definitely on this turn is attack with... Or this coming up turn. I guess they could attack with Cram this turn. But I think they should... They probably want to attack with... Udra. Um, maybe if they attack with Cram here, I might just attack with Cram myself, to be honest. Like, I would maybe just attack with Cram as, uh, myself. Um, I could just, like, rod back in Cram, Energy, Goon... And then capture out the cram to be honest and just go with cram again this turn which i wouldn't hate the idea of it doesn't sound that good though to be honest actually there's no energy for me to recover anyways i was thinking i could like capture for greninja use greninja first but that just doesn't seem great yeah maybe holding the temple of Sinnoh wasn't even worth it to be honest i'm trying to think like the only thing i could think about them wanting like later on would be i mean maybe they'd want another cram at some point or the gudra those aren't like unreasonable Dude, jeez, how do I beat this, man? Nah, let him cook, let him cook, we're fine. Yeah, we'll be okay. They're drawing pretty well, though. <laughs> I was like, this is like kind of like, as it's happening, I'm like, jeez, man. They're drawing so well. They even lost, lost on a Gudra V-Star and they still have two Gudra V-Star in play. Like, that's absurd. Okay, it's a good top deck. I think we do just give the Temple of Sinnoh to get the Greninja. I just need to dig for cards. I could go for the Luminian here. Luminian's not that bad to put in play if I get into Gujra this turn, to be honest. Oh, shoot. Maybe I should go for Luminian. Uh, maybe I should have captured. I should have maybe captured first to Gujra to get Greninja, use Greninja, and see if I get the energy. Then I could take Luminian, capture to Gujra, try and get the energy. Um, I have three water and two metal on the deck. Okay, good to know. Three water, two metal. Uh, that's tough to be honest. I think I misplayed this a little bit. Three water, two metal. Okay. What is it? Three water, two metal. Okay. Three water, two metal. So I should get rid of the water. Okay. I do thin out the deck a little bit more aggressively here, I guess as well. So I'm sitting at five. So let's get to six, seven. And both of my medals. <laughs> okay, bro. Let's get it. Um, so both of my medals are now going to be in my hand. So I could go this, this, this. Yeah, okay. Uh, quick ball of metal. Grab Gooch. Uh, I have one gate left. I haven't used this yet. Dude, that's so unlucky. Hold up. I think I should do this first. I do need this. Okay. Um, I should do this. That's so unlucky, man. What? I have what? Oh my gosh. Do I have a gate left? I do. Okay. And a rod left. Okay. So it's still possible. It's still just so unfortunate though. <laughs> the only way to move the active is the gate to the active. But okay. This will like buy us a decent amount of time, I guess. Yeah, that was like a really un unfortunate course to be honest. Like that's just un that's just unfortunate. I have nothing else that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's just unfortunate. Man, that sucks. <laughs> Alright. So where does it go from here? 
They have a chorus. That's nice. I wish I had a chorus in my hand. That's that's cool. We have Luminion, I guess. That's cool. Um, yeah, maybe the quick ball for Luminion wasn't too bad. It was actually pretty bad because I didn't really want a quick ball for Luminion. I wanted to be able to quick ball for my Gudra. Um, I am ahead like on overall damage in play. Um, so I guess the play to look for on both of our sides is the escape rope play, right? Where you go. I mean, we're both just trying to put damage in play as much damage as possible. But you can go like escape rope boss. It's like a play you can make in this matchup. I, I can use Greninja next turn, to be honest, because I do have an Ordinary Rod left. I'll just have to find it. Um, and then I want to try and, like, net some of these Comfies out of play, theoretically. Because uh, they could actually even attack with Greninja still and KO double Comfy at some point. Um, which wouldn't be great. I do have four Scoop Up Nets left, though. I have all my Scoop Up Nets left, I believe. So that's, we can get them out of play. Okay, there's an Escape Rope. Um, that's one less Escape... They can't play for the Escape Rope boss as likely, though. I'm just going to set up a Comfy here. Because I assume this means they're attacking with... Uh, they still want to attack with Gudra. Oh, they maybe have the Greninja play, to be honest. That's kind of unfortunate. I do get to rock sand them this turn now, though, and potentially net all my Pokemon out of play. So I don't really hate this. This this could still... For also, I could go boss KO Gudra, which would be really good. Um, this does open up the possibility for me to go boss KO Gudra. So I don't actually mind this too much. It's going to burn a lot of energy from them as well. Yeah, actually, this doesn't seem that bad for me. I think they're doing it, assuming this isn't great for me, but... I, I think they're cooking. I think they're cooking, chat. I think they're cooking. I don't know what you guys think. I think my opponent's cooking here for sure, though. They even punched my Gudra, which I feel like does nothing, right? Unless they have escape rope. They didn't go for two prize cards here. They chose not to go for two prize cards. Do you boss other Gudra? I want to. Um... If they have escape rope boss KO on this, that'd be really bad. I can't rock sand actually. They didn't go for the double prize card, which is interesting. I thought that's what they were gonna go for here. Uh I don't really want to put Luminion in play though. So if this gets me boss, did not I need to take the rod here. I have to take rod if I want to set up another Gudra. No, that's actually not true. I didn't have to take rod there. I just kind of took it. Okay. Now I'm comfortable to concealed. We got the boss, but we don't have a way to switch. <laughs> we got two boss. Now I need a way to retreat, though. All right. Net, Roxanne, water. I could go bench. That bench. Water. Net, send up. Wing. I think it's fine. If they have boss on this, I guess that's kind of just fine. I like I think I just have to like accept that. If they have boss on this Gudra and punch it, I think that I just have to be like, okay, you have that play then. Um what do my switch cards look like? I have two switch cards left. Okay. Or I could just attack with it as well. I can just like get gate V star and then we're attacking, so. Um, how many boss have they played? I think it's just one in the law zone now. Yeah, so if they have boss hit my Gudra, that's kind of unfortunate. I could have not benched this Gudra, though. I could have not benched this Gudra. Um, but then if they have escape rope boss, I literally just lose. And they're only down one rope, so... Yeah, that's probably not worth the risk, to be honest. They usually play three ropes, so... Uh, why did they poke the goo? Because it is effectively an attack on my Gudra if they don't have the escape rope boss, or it sets up for the escape rope boss play. Because now they could go... Oh, my gosh. They might have it. <laughs> they might have the escape rope boss. Um, oh, it's still winnable, though. Even with the this play, it's this game is still winnable. Um, I mean, they don't have that many cards left in their deck. So if they have this play, to be honest... Okay, okay, it's just a Raihan. Ooh, this sets up so well for us, though. Now I can Roxanne and net my Greninja out of play. I don't know. about This just sets up so well for us, I feel like. I can rock sand and try and net my Greninja out of play now. So it's like not a thing that they can chase. Another escape rope gone. I mean, I don't know if they have another. They could have Raihan to move the Comfy, to be honest. All right. I still think this is winnable then. I still think it's winnable. It seems winnable. That's an insane top deck. I think I just want. Do I want the Goon ever? We have a lot of nets left. So let's get the Goon. Um, we'll get the goon. 
I don't ever want the cram, I don't think. Just the goon. Double energy. And then we have Roxanne number one. And I want to get the Greninja out of play as soon as possible. For sure. I'm lucky. Okay. Um, could I Greninja this metal? I think my last metal is prized. No, I just can't. I have to attach this. Okay. We have another Roxanne. And if I could have... Dude, I think we were in an insane spot if I was able to net this this turn. I have three nets left as well. That's kind of unlucky, to be honest. If I was able to net that out of play, I think we're in an insane spot. I think we just win. <laughs> I think we just win if I could have net that out of play. If I was able to net the... Yeah, if I was able to net the Greninja this turn, I think we would just win this game. So they have one net. Okay. We're still in a good spot, though. We're still in a really good spot. I'm definitely going to Moisture Star. Three nets. I have multiple water left in the deck. I kind of want to boss this Gudra, then boss this Gudra. Um, or how bad do I care about netting that thing this turn? Um, not super bad. Let's just Moisture Star to buy myself some time. So I can think. Um, how many capture energy do I have left? One, two, three. I have one water. That's it. So I only have one more water left in the deck. Um, I think bossing on this is just fine, though. I don't know. If they want to waste a boss on my Greninja this turn, they didn't have the boss last turn, which I feel like they would have done. If they had the boss, they would have played it last turn because like, I could net this at any point, and then it's just not a target for them anymore. So I feel like they would have... They would have net it. The other play I could have gone for would be to boss up the... I could have gone, like, boss... I think bossing this is just better than bossing Kramer Comfy, though, because they could always have the net for the other one. Um, Yeah, we're just cooking now. Now I just boss the other one, and the game is over. Insane game. And we got the net. So net the Greninja. Boss up the other. Gudra. Smack. Insane, yeah. Let them cook a little bit. And then take our time. We got set up eventually. Um, yeah, I didn't like how they played it overall. The, the Greninja play was weird. Uh, they weren't reducing damage that was in play. The Greninja play was weird from them. And then also with the, it, it like forced their Moisture Star like a turn early. You want to sit there and like force your opponent to have the escape rope boss or get to Moisture Star away two attacks. Moisture Star in a way one attack just like also put them behind. They just like, they played it pretty awkwardly and kind of dug themselves a hole here to be honest. Um, yeah, now it's like a free dub for us now that we've set up fully. They were trying to get really cute when they were ahead. It's okay to try and get cute when you're behind. Um, but if you try and get cute when you're ahead. Oh, it's probably gonna be Zacian V-Star, right? This is probably gonna be Zacian V-Star. Okay, good top deck. What was first? I'm not a huge fan of taking the Lumidian here. We could just take the Water Energy instead. I am leaning towards that. I'm going to go with it. I might regret that. We might not have a follow-up support. Oh, we didn't really need the Guja V-Star, actually. That's what I probably shouldn't have taken, to be honest. I was like kind of like, all right, we need this Guja V-Star. But to be honest, we had a Guja V-Star in hand. So I don't think we really need, needed that Guja V-Star. I'm probably not going to get turn one Brave Bladed, so I don't have to like worry too much about that. Um, yeah, I think I could have taken the Lumidian there. Kind of regretting that a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Just going to keep netting, though. Both signals shouldn't matter too much in this matchup. Oh. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go attach retreat here, I think, because I don't want to get a Gudra boss stuck in the active, and I'd be my only switch card, so... Oops, I didn't punch the cram. Yeah, I, I'm definitely regretting that, to be honest giving up Luminian there. I'm definitely regretting that. We're already almost at Mirage Gate, though, so we're doing all right. The reason why Colish over Flower Select because Colish is safer than Flower Selecting. We have we get more information uh, sooner. Like every time you go to use Flower Selecting, you're just like, oh my gosh, bro, here we go. But when you use Colish, you have plus three cards in your hand and you look at those and you're like, well, I have guaranteed access to these resources. All right, now I'm going to flower selecting. And then when you see the flower selecting, it's just like not as big of a deal. I guess they could get off a turn one Brave Blade still to be honest. I was like, there's like no way they do, but they could like switch to the bench, Metal Saucer, or Attach, get back to the active. It's definitely possible. Oh, I didn't play around Zinnia's Resolve, bro. Dude, how do I forget to play around Zinnia's Resolve, man? I could have benched one less Comfy. 
Mm, Pokestop. I might, I might actually go for nah. What double saucy? That's that's lucky. I might actually go for the Pokestop. We'll see. Double Turbo. Oh no, they need that for the Zacian V Star, right? If they just run, we can just boss KO. To be honest. Oh no, running Intrepid. Let's go. All right, we're still in a pretty good spot. I mean, we have the boss KO, and they have no other attacker on board. Oh no, and they got the double hit, and we're gonna take it all away from them. I'll tell you, I almost feel bad, but I don't really feel bad. Yeah, they're getting bodied now. It's a free dub. Oh, we got the course with the prize cards. That's great. Oof, and a capture, man. Chill out. We're drawing everything. Yeah, they are cooked. Pack it up. Can capture next turn for the Greninja. I could actually go for Triple Gudra this game, to be honest. This is a game where actually I think we could go for Triple Gudra. I think that'd actually be like we could like reasonably go for that. My boss over rope. I don't have a guaranteed way to get back to the... Ooh, that's not true, actually. I could have actually gone with the rope. But actually... uh, So I could have gone with the rope, but that's like... This is like such a clean turn to use it as... Whoa! Such a clean turn to use it as a supporter. I could have, though. To be honest, I could have. I don't actually hate that. Because I could have... Well, then I would have to go use Comfy, hope to hit a switch card with the switch card, potentially, and then Mirage Gate to the Comfy instead. But boss is just so clean that turn. I think boss is just correct, to be honest. I don't know. I could see it going the other way around, but... Also, it just felt too clean that turn, so. All right, hopefully I don't get screwed by... So I'm trying to leave my basic energy in the deck. If I capture first, it would lower my... It would increase my chance of seeing basic energy off ex, uh, experiment. But I don't want to see Greninja either. I don't think it changes up my odds enough to water three metal. But I could, of course, experiment first and then potentially attach this energy. No, it doesn't really change too much. Dude, which is so much energy. All right, so I, want, I do want to replace their stadium. Two water in the lot in the deck. Two water, three metal. So I think I'd rather lost on the metal, right? I mean, it doesn't matter too much, I think, overall, to be honest. I actually don't need this gate, to be honest. I could take the water energy, over, the metal energy over the gate, to be honest. I don't need this gate. It's just nice right now. Just grab the gate. I think I'll even use this, just use this gate for one, to be honest. Go ahead with the concealed cards. I do want to dig water in the discard pile. It's really all I need. Uh, unless I want to make another Gujar, to be honest. They've only drawn one prize card, so I could go third Gujar this game. So I think I'll hold the rod to, for the potential of the third Gujar, to be honest. I think that's what I'll wait to hold on on. I think the news game is just worth putting in Lost Box. I have no clue. I haven't tested any of that yet. Possibly. For sure. Definitely seems like it could be okay. Definitely possible. But I'm not sure. Haven't tried it uh, at all. Okay. Could this get scary, actually? I mean, they do hit us. Raveblade does kind of slap us, right? Um, am I scared of Zamazenta? How much is this thing can this thing hit for? This is actually 30 minutes for each prize card your opponent has taken. Two hundred shred. I mean, I don't really care about two hundred shred. We two we carry each other back and forth, so it like evens out. They're playing like a it's this this build is like really turbo. I mean that might be the best way to play it for sure, to be honest, but Zam Zaish. Is there any like any specific of these attackers? Like this is like pretty good against Lost Box, right? Like assault three 230 HP, assault tackle for 130 is like pretty good against Lost Box. I appreciate the templates there. Uh Adam P CrossFit. Appreciate that, Adam. Um yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that one's like not bad. Oh, that's annoying. Dude, that's annoying. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I can get my cram back. It's just annoying. Okay, that's fine. 
We still have our second rod left, right? We still have our second rod as well. We're kind of chilling, I think. Thoughts on Lost Box with Radiant Antirn and Rapid Urshifu? Um, probably bad. Maybe a, fun, a cool meme deck, but I don't think any more than that. Like, I, don't, I just don't think it beats Lugia. You just lose to Lugia. Oh, shoot. Here comes the big hit. That doesn't KO us, though. They can big hit here, but that doesn't KO us. Does it? Am I, does that actually KO? No, it doesn't KO me, right? Right? Someone tell me it doesn't KO me. Yo, the hyper big charm? What? Wait, does that keep them out of range? Yo, this deck is insane. <laughs> Yo, this deck's cool. They got the sauce in here. Sorry, we still have our Moisture Star. All right, what the fuck? <laughs> I might Luminion here to try and get a Colrus. I really want to get a Temple of Sinnoh because their only draw power here is Pokestop. So if I can remove the Pokestop from play, I kind of run out of... I don't have it in here. Okay. I'll try. I lost on it earlier. Okay. Yeah. True. Wait, but I have Goon. Oh, I, I kill him with Goon. Nice. Genius. I didn't even think about it initially, but we do do it. Moisture Star. I have no bench space. Well, we have Escape Rope. I have no bench space for the... Um, Cramorant to get through the mill tank now, but we, we have nets left, I think. Do we? Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. How many bosses do we have? We have two boss. Yeah, we have two boss and three escape rope left, so we're still fine, but I actually don't have any way to get... <laughs> it's still the correct play because of how much other switch cards we have. I think. We could also attack with Greninja twice with double rod, I feel like. No, this is still a free dub. Oof, juice. I might want to wait until I set up my second, my other Gujra though, I guess. No, we have a switch now. So I'm going to go escape rope switch, boss win. Or we just go boss punch and then, no, no, no. We'd want to go escape rope first. Escape rope switch, they send up one of them, we hit it, they move it, we boss it, we win. <clears throat> so we do, we do still just win. Like they don't have a, we, we can't lose. Sure. Yeah, but I don't think there's like a anything saucy they can get to actually win this game. Double turbos are interesting. I mean, it's only like four energy. Yeah, the double turbos are like weird still. Because it's like metal, metal, double turbo. I mean, I guess that's maybe makes sense. But they're only doing 290 damage, uh, which means you're not carrying the V maxes. Like the Mew matchup actually seems like winnable with that thing now. Well, you need some extra form of energy acceleration, I feel like, though. I don't know. I'll put the cram back just in case something gets really weird and somehow I end up needing it. I don't know. I also use one one. I think using one ordinary right here is also fine. Um, maybe I should have like used comfy before I actually did this though. I do kind of plan to use comfy here, but instead of Let's see what comfy gets. I mean, I think the boss is correct. Just in case, again. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the. Throw this here. We have enough. We have enough stuff. I'm. I'm confident we can win this with like the current setup. Yeah, I'm. I'm confident we're we're fine here and we'll win with the. Uh, we can. We have the double boss. We have the escape rope. We have seven cards off the deck. I don't think Roxanne is gonna stop us from getting there eventually. They also have to like send up a bunch of other different attackers to like kind of slow us down at some point. I mean, they got this one mill tank so far. They got four Pokey stop in this build. Yo, this is like. Aggressive. 
We haven't seen anything like a crowbat or anything yet, so it's like not that aggressive. It's like kind of aggressive. Uh, not aggressive enough, I don't think. Do they still have their V-Star power? They do. They can they can they can punch here pretty hard, but it's never enough, right? Because like even if they KO'd one Guja, I'd hit with Guja, hit with Guja, we still win. But now we just have Boss game on this anyway, so it doesn't matter. It is funny that the Miltank the Miltank almost got like a little bit scary. Miltank almost got a little bit scary, but not not quite scary enough. Yeah, just a uh, just almost, but not quite, not quite. Archie, right, I got. A um, there's quite a few basics I want actually, so I wouldn't mind drawing into a basic here. I could give up a Gudra V Star here, I think. So then I can go. All a cap. Um. Oof, I prize a Gudra V Star. Unlucky. That's so unlucky, man. Are you kidding me? I, mean, I kind of want to get a second Gudra V. I don't really need to get a second Gudra V out, to be honest, actually. Water metal, all the water metals here. One, two, three, four, two, three. Surprise the Boris. Bosses in hand. Three Sinnoh. Three switch. Surprise a switch. Rods are here. Prize two escape rope. Prize the parasol. Prize the parasol. Ninja. Cap. Ooh. I want to save this to get Drapion. I can conceal the water or the metal doesn't matter because there's the same amount of them in the deck right now. I, that's what I was worried about was drawing the net. So I was thinking about capping here, but then it's like, if I don't get the net, then I'm not guaranteed another. Lore Slok Dean. It's got to be the goo. Oh, I'm feeling kind of comfortable with this start. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this start. I mean, Prize and Second Guja V Star is not great, but besides that, I feel pretty comfortable. I think it'll be a good rating e turn deck this season. Uh, no clue. I still need to work on my Duraladon one. Yeah, I have no clue. All right, so we can attack. We can go for a Gudra attack this turn, or we can go for the Duraladon or Drapion. No, we don't want a Drapion attack, right? We don't want to attack with Drapion this turn. We want to save the Drapion to respond to a Mew V Max. Yeah. So I don't. I don't want to attack with Drapion this turn. I could. I'm gonna try and avoid it actually. I'm gonna try and avoid it. I definitely wanna yeah, try and avoid it. Unless it's like the, if this is their only Mew in play, like chasing that would be pretty good to be honest. Oh shoot. That's such a cheesy play. Bro, that's such a it's such a cheese play, bro. Boss the Gudra is such a cheese. I hate that play. I hate this boss Guja cheese. Dude, it's working. I hate the boss Guja cheese. It's working. All right, hold up, hold up. We're not done yet, though. I'm going to go for the Luminian. I only have three switch cards in the deck. Luminian for Chorus. Um, cause no, that would also turn on my gate, right? No, it's not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. Uh, Luminian for Kohler seems correct though. Okay. Oh, but then I can't boss. No, but Luminian for Kohler still has to be correct. Even if I can't boss. Yeah, it's still correct for sure. Then should I just capture out another Gudra V right now? And worry about... I'm mean, getting the KO here is pretty good. I guess I should just cap out another goo then. <laughs> Although, actually, no, this isn't correct because Drapion, I can still attack with Drapion. Drapion. Attacking with Drapion here actually seems kind of fine, to be honest. I didn't get the switch card, man. I mean, I guess it just doesn't matter. Um, how many energy in the shop pile? A lot. No, but I could net reset the Greninja and draw more. Okay, that seems fine. Okay. Net reset the Greninja. Switch card one time. 
No, bro. The cheese, bro. The boss Gudra cheese. I hate it. All right, pass. A lot of energy in the description. I maybe should just recover some. But I want to be... If they do one hit K on my active here, I have to be able to recover the V-Star, to be honest. Yeah, that was like an interesting turn. I don't know. I did a lot of things. Some of the things I liked, some of the things I didn't like. Uh, maybe I should have capped for the Drapion. Because actually, just like a knockout here was like really, really strong, to be honest. Because they have like no setup. Um, so just attacking in general here was like a pretty strong... Pretty strong play, to be honest. Just like attacking this turn was pretty strong. Even if it was with the Drapion. Because the chance that they get off the Lost City knockout response is probably pretty low. Um, I don't know. Yeah, not probably probably not super likely. See where it goes from here though. Depends if they get a one hit KO this turn or not as well. Wouldn't be able to attack with Drapion. Oh true, they only had three Pokemon in play. Alright, it's a good thing I played it like this thing. I didn't even like think about that. I thought I could just attack with Drapion. Dude, what? Dude, if they dude, they even messed up an attached to their bench, bro. There's no way they get to punish them please they do not get the ko here that's so cringe if they get the ko here if they got the ko here i'd be pissed <laughs> i'd be pissed. i should have maybe played the rod for the two energy there i don't know two tablets gone okay that's pretty good I only have four in the loss zone. Holy smokes. We gotta get a switch. No switch card. All my energy though. All my energy. Let me just draw into all my energy real fast. <clears throat> Still no switch card. <clears throat> Dude. <laughs> this is cringe. All right. Um. All my energy in my discard pile. I mean, attaching active just doesn't even feel that good. I don't know. I guess we should. Should I put a Temple of Sinnoh in play? It could disrupt them. They're already not drawing very well, so. Budget. <clears throat> Came away Ultra Ball, I think would have. I gotta know what's in that hand. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, they crammed away an Ultra Ball. You're right. Yeah, they did, didn't they? I kind of know what's in that hand. Yeah, why wouldn't they just go get another Genesect? Okay, that's fine, I guess. I do give them a target for their vacuum. Maybe I shouldn't have put the Temple in play. I didn't think about it like that, to be honest. Oh, no, wait. They just juiced me to seven, though. Actually, it was a reverse bait. Hold up. I don't know if they actually have... Okay, I do have a metal in there. <laughs> I'll hold on to this Temple of Sinnoh. I need to be able to bump. Yo, they just... <laughs> that's such a funny play, the way that happened. They just juiced me. <clears throat> I wrote, Yeah, I, I baited myself into the right play. Let's go. It's the reverse bait. All right, I think we're in a pretty good spot now, for sure. I mean, they're going to Gust KO my Guja V here, but then I think we just like win the game. I could even go with the boss play this turn. Um, I could boss KO Genesect plus Bench Drapion, and I mean, I assume my Guja V is getting bossed here. That does leave it open for them to actually, like, Gust KO my Drapion, though, so maybe I don't want to do that. I don't know. Actually, how do I want to play this? I'm not sure, to be honest, how I want to play this. How many boss do I have left? Hmm. I mean, I think I am going for a boss knockout here. Well, let's see what actually, let's see what they knock out here, actually. Yeah, boss KO on my Gudra V. They can't ever want to KO my V-Star, though, unless they have, like, escape rope. Shenanigans. I kind of want to KO their only Genesect in play. Um, I just win the game if you bench Drapion. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting baited here. So I could go for Drapion KO active. And then boss KO Genesect next turn. Or I could go Gust KO Genesect. Take away their only draw power. I mean, both plays seem fine. Okay, if I Gus KO Genesect, I get Rock Sand. They would have to, they couldn't KO my active for sure, theoretically. Um, I 
I think going for the Drapion play sooner makes more sense. I don't actually know, though, to be honest. Actually, not like 100% sure, but... Uh, Roxanne switch. I want to be able to draw into a Roxanne off of, well, no, I don't want to draw into a Roxanne off of, I want to draw into a boss. Boss is what I want to draw. So maybe I should go energy. Sure. Try and thin out my deck as much as possible. I could do this. So then I need the boss next turn. Or do I want to dig for Gudrun? Or I actually still don't know how I want to play this, to be honest. Um. Uh, I can't boss anymore, so I have to. No, I could go escape rope though. Still, I actually don't know how I want to play this. Uh, I actually like the escape rope play a little bit more. I feel like because then I could win with boss or with Drapion. I'm torn on this one, man. I'm torn. Um, I should do this. I think I'm going to go escape rope here. And we'll attack with this, I think. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Pedro? Yeah, I'll be there. So yeah, the rope play seems best, to be honest. The rope play seems best. And then we need this to have another some more options okay that's fine take the center don't have just basic energy and then i think i'm gonna load up mirage gate oh, i mean we have we just have like, the, the rest of our deck is just juice at this point i think we do just win to be honest we have double net left nets Retreat net. Um, do I ever want to play around Echoing Horn? What would they be with Echoing Horn? A Guja V onto the bench. Do I care if they put a Guja V on my bench? I don't think I care if they put a Guja V on my bench. I don't want Goon in my deck either. Um, I think because they could go Evolve or Choreo Genesect, so ping Genesect. And then, swing. Yeah, I mean, I th I think this just wins us the game. Yeah. This also, though, so yeah, this allows me to Roxanne next turn or ball. Oh yeah, the escape rope's like always the play here because then I can escape rope or uh, I can escape rope or boss or Roxanne myself. And then that gives us an out. Yeah, this makes us the most sense. Yo, appreciate it. Gives it sub there, Villa. Um, I think retreating has to be better than playing the switch because you already got the, yeah, yeah. That's, well, no, I don't want, I have so many switch cards left though, Jake. I think like keeping the extra energy in play, depending on how I draw, I guess I could like retreat. I could net either comfy, right? Depending on how I, what I draw into, or I could switch the comfy as well. Cause I have so many switch cards left. I just have too many switch cards left. Um, yeah, I have too many switch cards left. All right, we got the boss. So we just win. Cause like this turn, they need like cross switch or KL Luminion. Uh, and even then, to be honest, even if they have cross, which are, um, do we not get a temple out of hand? No, because they could path. And if they path, then I can't drape on. So they could even do like a weird play where it's like, maybe they rock sand me into trash and they two a on my Guja plus path. Then I want as many temples in the deck as possible. Um, um, then I want as many in what's called in the deck as possible. I could have actually like put the, nah, I think it would have been fine. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. I think what we have, what we have going on is cool. It's very cool. What we have going on here is fine. Double switch or triple modifier? That's fine. We still win. If they get all that, I still win. They could all that have all of that and more. And I would still win this game. Give them the whole uh the whole shebang. Yeah, we just like never lose there to be honest. It's always a free dumb. Did I read your play? I would rope take one of these like to play that matchup.
Okay, so we're up against Suyun Zorak with Suyun Zorak with powerful energy. Um, do you need powerful energy in the deck? Hey, yo, the young bug is that broken in here? Zorak has finally found its the Pokemon. Come on. I kind of want to concealed cards first, to be honest, even though it is the capture. Mm, I don't really want to get rid of the capture, actually. Um, I'll this first. A good start. Um, I mean, I could escape rope KO the radiant charger bug, to be honest, with cram. That sounds pretty good. I mean, I shouldn't take this though. I should take this. And the question is like, do I want the escape rope so I can actually do that play? I didn't check my prize cards at all. Oh, I haven't searched my deck at all yet. So it's fine that I haven't checked. It's fair that I haven't checked my prize cards at all. They don't have, seem to have a setup that could actually get KO. One of my goos. Also like hitting, I mean, hitting the active Zork is also like pretty cool, but like KOing the charge bug is like also a good meme. So I kind of want to KO the charge bug, but I feel like cram punch active is actually probably more beneficial overall. Um, yeah, I think cram punch active is probably just better. We'll go with these. I feel like I'm getting more out of cram punch active. Um, Um, I haven't searched my deck yet, so we'll just get rid of... It doesn't really matter. We'll go to the metal or the water. Hopefully, it ends up being fine. Don't need Parasol in this matchup, I don't think. I might regret that, but I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Definitely want the Gudra, I think. Definitely fine with getting rid of the net. Crammy. Wait. Whenever you, oh, it's to one of their V Pokemon. Oh, this dude, what? Come on, bro. Give the bug some love. What the heck? I should check my, I should check my prize cards there on that, on that search. What? I thought this was for anything. Only V Pokemon? That's so cringe. That's so cringe. Oh, man. I thought we'd finally see a good ability that says when, when energy gets attached to Pokemon, it like actually is good. Uh -huh. I was like, all right, I guess our, our company's going to take 20 here. That's fine, though. And then the card is just bad. Come on, bro. You can't do that to my man. Charge a bug like that. Hate to V-Mons? No, I'm all down for hating V-Mons. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> they Wait, is this all Pokemon? What? Dude, wait, actually, is that cool? Oh, but it's one of their V Pokemon. What could you combo this with, though? Dude, yo, this could have been cool with Radiant Eternatus. Yo, Radi oh, Radiant Heatran, not Eternatus. Radiant Heatran, would, that would have been so sick with Radiant Heatran. This would have been insanely cool with Radiant Heatran. It's cool for Zorak? I mean, not really. It's mid. Mid for sure. Can't have two radiance. Oh yeah, true. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> two radiance. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. I was getting too hype on something that doesn't exist or is literally impossible. All right, we got the cram on the Zork with two KO with this turn. They actually don't even have another Zork V in play. We just win the game. Oh no! Wait, do they? Like, can they like gust this? They're like going all out here. They haven't played a draw supporter yet? Bro, I thought, no. I should have benched another Gudra. I was like, there's no way that can happen. There's no way I'm getting KO'd this turn. That's impossible. Um, We can KO this, though, with Goon Net. Uh, we can actually KO this with Goon Net. Um, and I really should have benched a second Gudra. I'm an idiot. Okay, this first. Did I already get rid of a V-Star? I think I did, right? There's no basic energy in here? No, okay. Uh, let's look at the V-Star. Uh, 
Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I could boss this turn actually, but I don't really want to KO anything with Crane. I would like to like punch something with Crane, but not KO it. I want to keep them board locked though, right? I don't want to open up their bench. I'm gonna play the escape rope, but I'm just gonna send up another Comfy and use it. But yeah, I want to keep them board locked. I don't want to open up their board for them. I don't actually want to attack with Cram this turn. Dude, I should have just put a second what's it called on the bench. You can KO with Drapion on V. Oh true. But I would need double gate. Which isn't impossible to be honest. I could have actually got the KO with that there. Not even that unlikely. I actually feel like the second comf the extra comfy might be better. I'm gonna like quick ball. Let's go for this. Let me get rid of a Guja V Star here on this search. Okay. I have two metal, two water in the deck. I couldn't have played around it. All right, two metal, two water in the deck. Sounds good. I don't really want to attach for a turn. I think we just pass. Leave this butthead in the active. This thing has two or three costs, so I could gust this. But I think it's a good chance they can move whatever I bring up. And I want to be able to gust. I want to be able to gust their next Zorak V when it hits the bench. Like I want to KO the, the, the Zorak V star. And then I want to be able to gust their next Zorak V is like the plan. Like when they put it back down. Can they move enough? They could move enough damage off this so I couldn't KO it actually. That'd be annoying. So I said, what is it? Two water, two metal in the deck? Water to metal. So I didn't prize any water, any metal. Okay. Yo, the Beedoof has one or three cost as well. Yo, this Beedoof is a this Beedoof is sick, bro. What? One with three cost Beedoof. And it's got the carefree. Uh I don't I'm not gonna try and pronounce that word again. Ability. I got Marnied. Sick, bro. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. I do need to find an energy for turn. Um, uh, yeah, I need to find an attachment for turn, but more importantly, I need to find a V star. So I think it's better to thin out the deck here. I could just get another gate. Yeah, actually I, that might be tough to thin it to find, to be honest. Um, use this first. How many nets do I have left? A lot of nets, right? Okay, so I could go like quick ball this. Oh, I'm out of comfies. Okay, sheesh. All right, yep, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. One hundred eighty HP. Okay. Oh, I should have replaced the stadium first. I'm trolling for the rock sand this turn. Oops. All right, stadium replace. Net, send up, bench, Roxanne. Do I, do I ever get there though? I feel like I don't get there with this. Yep, I just didn't get there. Um, shoot. Uh, geez. All right, this first. I have a metal left, so I want to go metal here, water here. Which? You get there now? Nope. Sure. Uh, I could dig further with Greninja, or I could just attach here. Let's just keep going. I'm we're, I'm locked in now. We're all in. Uh. Oh, they have B barrel as well. Okay. Um. All right, escape rope. I think I'm just gonna send up Cramorant and pass. I maybe I should have rotted. I when I had the rod in my hand like the last turn. Okay, I can actually punch this. When I had my rot, the rod in the hand on the last turn, I should have used ordinary rod to recover the V star and the two energy on that turn. I think for sure, actually, like thinking back on it, um, um, I definitely should have done that. I definitely should have done that. Mm. 
Let's see how this goes though. I mean, they got B barrel on board, so they can always draw. But we're, I think we're still in a fine spot, to be honest. Are we lose to a deck that has access to one attacker? I haven't lost yet. What do you mean? I literally haven't lost. That. We could have net punched with Cram actually. Actually, uh, dude, I'm kind of trolling here. Actually, I should have punched this thing with Cram more aggressively because they still only have one attacker in play. So if I can't with Cram or I can't with Gudra, it doesn't matter. Dude, I'm just doing so much trolling in this game. This is kind of sad, to be honest. I should have been like aggressively punching this with Cram when they board locked themselves. I should have been aggressively punching that with Cram when they board locked themselves. There's, like no reason not to. Like they don't have anything. They don't have any attackers. I, mean, I think I'm still going to be fine. Oh, I didn't actually do the math on that, to be honest, though. I think I'm still going to win through the board lock, through the bench lock strategy, but uh, I could have done this so much cleaner. I could have done this so much cleaner. More, more cleanly. Could have been way more cleanly. I need the goon, so it has to be V star V star goon. Okay. I must value the energy more to be honest at this point. V star. V star. Match. Net. I put Temple of Cinnamon. How many stadiums are they down? They got to be down a couple, right? One. Jeez, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's not that much left in the deck. Okay. Uh, rolling iron. I could have Sinnoh there, but I think I'm going to hold it. Because if they keep digging through their deck, it's possible the Sinnoh becomes more relevant, like, next turn or something. And yeah, the Sinnoh could definitely be, like, more relevant on the following turn. But now we should be able to just go boss KO, boss KO, and we should win the game. <clears throat> Oh, that's true. They are they are gonna no, but they could like pump it off though. They could like bench the Pokemon and then pump the damage off. So I still want the goon. They could bench it and then pump it off. So they definitely play like a probably a pretty reasonable count of pump. There's only two in the discard pile right now, but I played this pretty poorly though, to be honest, overall. So it's like a pretty poorly because I could have just like been hitting with cram every single turn as well, and that would have pressured their only attacker as well. Maybe they um Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, they could. They could pump it though. Or you had a goon into boss or something. Then it's better to have bog in play. Oh, you're saying like another reason to keep bog in play? Yeah, true. <laughs> they moved the wrong damage, <laughs> bro. What if I boss your Zorark? No. Okay, I have a switch in hand, so I think I'm just gonna set up this Gudra to be able to attack. I'm just like punching my own Gudra. Alright, we're rolling, we're trolling. So now we just have Boss Cow Crowbat and we win. Insane game. Yeah, we're never gonna lose. As soon as they limit themselves to only one attacker in play, I don't think we're ever gonna lose the game, but. We definitely could have, I definitely could have played this better, but I don't think we we're ever losing the game. Um, for sure. Yeah, I definitely could have played it better, but I don't think we we're ever losing. Yeah. The loss was never happening. Insane game. <laughs> Let's go. The comeback.